one woman came to one of my seminars and she was very new thoughty and woo woo. And so she walked in and she said, I am open to unlimited abundance and financial success. And I said to her, oh really, that's great. Here, and I gave her a dollar. And she said, what's this? And I said, it's a dollar. She said, well, what do I do with it? I said, it's for you. She said, well, do I give it back to you? And I said, no, it's for you. She said, well, I'll hand it to me. I said, it's for you. She said, well, I'll put it in the, I said, you're open to unlimited financial success. You can't take a dollar. What's going on here? Now, again, the mirror showed that she was not thinking that. You see, we take on an affirmation and we say, I'm affirming it and affirming it. Look in the mirror. If you want to know what you're thinking subconsciously, people say, I have, it must be a subconscious thought. It's sitting right in front of you. So I, I talked to her and I said, all right, let's look at what's in the mirror here. And what she uncovered was the thought she was actually holding was, I cannot have anything I didn't earn. It's not about positive thinking. It's about thinking. And what happens, the result of that is a positive approach. But when you see something that you want, you know that you're going to get certain sensations that are rooted in your childhood and living with that, you're going to say it's okay. Once that happens and the two sit side by side, you can then go on to what you want in your life. And the positive aspect that Thought Exchange preaches doesn't preach, it espouses, is that it takes you away from going after the result. And that's really important. We're all addicted to results. We want something to happen out there for us. When the truth is, you want something to happen inside of you. Week after week, people would come in with issues, pinpoint the thoughts that those issues were reflecting exchange those thoughts, and the appearance of those issues in the physical world would change. This is the point at which most books and films would stop. We have the method. We know it works. So just use it and change your life. But somehow, as the weeks went by, we began to notice that the change wasn't always holding. Sometimes, people would simply backslide into holding the old thoughts. Why couldn't people hold the change? Why did they keep backsliding? Something was missing. During this time, we began to explore the important question that lies beyond affirmations, beyond the secret. <laughs> 